Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a flash drive, SD card, or whatever is portable, putting Reaper on it with all your plugins so you can take it from computer to computer or whatever. Just keep in mind, Reaper Portable can be a powerful weapon. First thing to do is find your flash drive, external hard drive, SD card, or zip disk if you're some kind of masochist or something. It doesn't really matter. If Reaper fits on the drive, it will work. Next, download and start the normal Reaper setup. After you spend eight hours reading the end user license agreement, uh, you can click next. On this screen, you will see the location for the installation of Reaper. It will default to somewhere on your C drive, but we want the portable installation. So check the box that says portable. Now click browse and navigate where you want your Reaper installation. I recommend putting it in some sort of folder in there. Calling it Reaper seems like an obvious choice, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. Now grab a beverage and wait for installation to finish. Cool beans, you have Reaper on a portable device, but you don't have any plugins on it yet. So take whatever plugins you want and copy them to your portable drive at the Reaper Plugins FX folder. Now when you load Reaper, it will always scan that folder. I installed the Ugratone die switch plugin and look, it works perfectly. Now you'll notice the big don't for the love of all things holy do this read me warning in the FX folder. And yeah, for a normal Reaper install, you don't want to do this since if your Reaper directory updates or gets uninstalled, you may lose that folder. You can install plugins anywhere on the drive and specify a plugin location like you normally would. However, if you switch between PCs, Windows may change your drive letter making the static path you set invalid. So in my opinion, the effects folder is the most reliable. Also keep in mind, sub plugins with funky DRM or an iLock aren't likely to work properly using this setup. But anyway, that's all there is to it. If you like this video, please like and sub. Please also check out my other videos with Reaper stuff, vintage hardware, BST plugins and pedals and other junk. Thanks for watching.